The Lazy Peon. It's been a long day, my friend. Now let's head down to the auction house and make some gold. Yeah, good shady. Ah, the auction house. The one place fine working folk like me and you can make a living. Just leave the talking to me. Yes, sir. Hello there, ma'am. I'd like to post six stacks of black rock ore and four stacks of true iron ore for one gold less than the current lowest price. Post for 12 hours or 48 hours? 12 hours. For that low price, it'll be gone within a matter of minutes. It is done. Thank you, Mias. Hey, how do you keep track of thousands of auctions at once? Just using your head. It's like you're some kind of mathematical robot lady from the future. I suggest you stop asking questions, sir. If you want to keep the ability to use your mouth, that is. Ah, damn, that ocean lady freaks me out, man. It's like she has no soul. I think she's kind of hot. God damn it, I've told you a hundred times before. If you want to get rich, you need to be a single man. You can't have any distractions getting in the way. Well, you sure are smart, boss. Do you think our auctions have sold? I'll go check. Hey, miss, have our items sold yet? You have been undercut by one copper. Undercut? The fuck you talking about? Ours was one gold cheaper. Not anymore, sir. Well, there you I want to repost everything five gold cheaper. It is done. Finally. You've just been undercut by one copper again, sir. That's bullshit. Who keeps undercutting me? Some guy called Greedy Frank. He's been undercutting everyone recently. Sounds like a real professional. I better call the union on this one. Ladies and gentlemen of the Eastern Kingdom's Workers' Union, a great problem has just been brought to my attention from two of our members, Buck and Steve. Every time we post an auction, it's immediately undercut by one copper from a person by the name of Greedy Frank. Now, does anyone have any ideas on how we can deal with this? Kill his family! Burn his house down! Feed him to Hogger! How about we march through Stormwind and get King Varian to deal with it? Hey, that's not a bad idea! Grab your pitchforks, everyone! It's time to go protest! Oh, damn it, man! Protesting's not gonna work! We gotta find this guy and take him out! Take him out to dinner? No, you idiot! We're gonna murder him! Oh, okay. There he is! Get him! Ho <laughs> ho So you think you can undercut our oceans and take our jobs? Well, now we're gonna take something from you! His wallet, sir? God damn it, no! We're gonna take his life! <laughs> Now everything can finally get back to normal. Let's get some rest. <laughs> Sweet dreams, sir. Damn, I hate you, boy. Ah, what a beautiful day. Now let's go make some money. Why are all these people staring at us? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck's going on? Hello, Buck. Steve, let's get out of here! I'm afraid I can't do that. You see, it was me all along undercutting your auctions. I simply paid someone else to do it for me. The plan was for everyone to keep undercutting each other until prices dropped to an all-time low, at which point we'd simply buy every piece of ore on the auction house, creating scarcity and relisting it for a higher price, thus making millions. 
Why would you do this to me? We're best friends. You just had to keep asking questions. Killing greedy flank totally ruined my plan. And for that, you will die. There's just one thing I don't understand. What's with all the old gods and creepy people standing around? Oh, that. <laughs> well, I'm also the leader of a cult that worships the old gods. You crazy, man. Maybe. Now shut up and die. Not so fast, Steve. Union workers, charge! Ha! Ha! No! I'd rather die than be a frog! No! Thanks for the help, Marion. You're welcome. So what are you going to do with Steve now he's a frog? Well, all this murdering, protesting, and being pissed off has worked up quite an appetite. <laughs> yeah, yeah.